Hey guys, welcome to the 131st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our paint application. Alright, so in this tutorial, we're going to be drawing shapes. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a split button. And on our split button, you'll have the option of what shape you want to draw. So the text of our split or our split button will just be um, draw shape. And we're going to make it so it displays the text and not the uh, image. And then under draw shape, you'll be able to draw a uh, square, a rectangle, or a circle. All right. So now when the user clicks on a square, we're just going to have it set a bool to true. So then when the user um, puts their mouse down, it will draw a square. So we're just going to have to create a bool called draw square and set that equal to false. But then when the user uh, selects square from the split button right here, we'll set, set it equal to true. So we'll say draw square equals true. And then when the user puts their mouse down, we're going to say if draw square, then we want it to draw a square. So we're going to create a new solid brush. Let's call it S and set it equal to a new solid brush. And then the color for our brush will be the same color that the user has selected for the pen color. And that is tool strip button one dot four color. So I'm just going to copy that from our pen uh, class down there because I'm lazy. And then now that we have our brush all set up, we can just draw a rectangle. So we're just going to say G for our graphics dot fill rectangle. And the brush will be our brush that we just created. And then the position that we want it to draw will be whatever position that the user has their mouse at. So it will be E dot X and then E dot Y. And then for the size, right now we're just going to have it as 50. But later on I'll show you how to customize that. Alright, so, oh actually we're also going to have to set can paint equal to false. And we're going to want to change uh, draw square and set that equal to false as well. All right, so basically after the user clicks, then um, they won't be able to draw another square immediately. They'll have to go back to draw shape and select on um, the shape. So now if we go to draw square and click somewhere on our canvas, it should draw a square. Yep, and if we change the color to like green and drew another square, yep, it's green. All right. So now let's just draw another color or another shape like a rectangle. So what we're going to do here is just create another bool for a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. And then we're going to set that equal to true. When the user um, clicks on that button, then we're just going to basically check to see if uh, draw a rectangle is uh, set equal to true. And then if it is, we're just going to draw another um, rectangle. So we're just going to set these equal to 100 by 50 this time though, so it's an actual rectangle. And then we're just going to have to set these to false as well. Alright, so now I'm going to debug, select a rectangle and click, get a rectangle. Alright, so right now we can't really uh, select what size we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a text box here so the user can select what size they want. So first let's just add a label for shape size. And we'll just add a text box for the uh, actual size for you to be able to input that. And let's just change the size of this text box to like mm, 40 so they don't have as much, so it's not as big. Alright, so now what we're going to do for the size of this is we're going to say um, tool strip one text box two actually dot text. We're just going to want to convert this to an int because it calls for an integer. Converge dot two and thirty two, and then our text box is text, and then we're going to do the same thing for the height. But for the rectangle, we have two different sizes. So what we're going to do is we're going to just multiply the width by 2. And then this way it'll just stay proportional and the user will still be able to select the size. 
So now I'm going to debug here. Type in a size. So if we type in like 100, now the width of a rectangle will be 200 and the height will be 100. So now we draw a rectangle. Good. If we draw a square, good. If we change the size to like 10, let's just change the color here to like red. Draw square. Yep, we get a smaller square. And if we draw a rectangle, it should be small too. Yep. All right, so I'm not going to code for the circle because you guys know how to do that, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.